This is the new ASUS ZenBook Duo. Now, at first glance, it looks like a regular clamshell laptop. Of course, it's got an Intel Core Ultra chip inside, so it's ready for the AI-powered future. But I'm more interested in what it can do right now, and that is, you know, regular keyboard, OLED screen, that's all great, but you take the screen and you pop it right off, and then you have hiding under here a second 14-inch OLED display, and you can actually, you know, share the desktop across both displays, and if you want to do a little bit of typing, you could use that keyboard short still connected via Bluetooth, or I take my six fingers and I give it a tap, and then all of a sudden I've got an on-screen keyboard, I've got a little handwriting panel right here, and I can do a little handwriting recognition. And even my handwriting uh, breaks through the handwriting recognition. Uh, and of course, you can call up all sorts of other little extra bits and put them on the screen. I like this little control panel right here, and I can take the volume on the system, and I can raise the volume, I can lower the volume, I can lower the screen brightness, I can raise the screen brightness, and there's actually other custom panels that'll work with different types of software. And when I'm done with all this, if I just want to do some real on-screen typing, I take my six fingers again and I scroll up like this, and now I've got the full-size keyboard and a full-size touchpad like that. Or if I want to get rid of all of this stuff, then I can close all these windows. If I just do a three-finger tap, then I just have a touchpad on the bottom that will control the cursor across the top and bottom screen. And of course, since it's two screens, you can obviously take a folder or a window or anything and you can move it from the top, you can move it to the bottom, you could have it take up the whole screen, you could have it straddle halfway between. There's really a lot of different things you can do. But once you get past all this, then you could take these two screens and start bending them and using them in all kinds of interesting ways. So then you could take the two screens and I can put them side by side and put out the little kickstand. And then I've got this little double guy right here, and I put the keyboard in front of that, and then I have a two-screen stand-up system. Or you can even take the two screens and tilt them like this, and they're gonna reorient themselves automatically. And then you've got basically an all-in-one PC with two giant screens you can look at. And the final way that I found interesting to use this is you lay it down flat, you lay it down flat like this, then you can turn on this screen sharing mode. And then you've got two separate desktops, one pointing to someone standing on this side of the desk and one for somebody on this side of the desk. And you can call up a document and look at it right here. And the person on the opposite side can see the document facing them at the same time. If I open up, let's say a web browser window, I got my view looking at me. They've got their view looking at them. And then when you're all done for the day, you could put it back into its clamshell mode, put the keyboard right back on top. I love that the keyboard actually charges itself by being on top of the system. Then just close it up and take it with you.